Alright guys, so let's get on making this uh, brick disk now. So I've opened up these two images, hopefully you can find them. It's this one over here and this one over here. They should be easy to find. So if you need to open them, just open them up and then let's get, let's get started working on this. So we're going to be making the brick disks in this one. So let's get onto side view real quick over here. And uh, let's take let's take the rim, all right. And let's get onto the side view. Let's press Shift and S and choose Kezzer to select it. Now I'm gonna press Shift and A. I'm gonna add in a mesh circle. Now we're not gonna be adding any subdivision surface to this uh, this piece right here. So we're gonna have to try and make it as uh, uh, to have as many uh, vertices as possible. So I'm gonna set this to something like 60. Should be good. Cause I'm not gonna be adding in any subdivision surface so let's scale this down to fit about the uh, space that this uh, rim I mean this brick disk is gonna take and judging by what I'm seeing here I think should be about here pretty much I think uh, I'm trying to guess why this should be but I want to put it around here hopefully I think that is enough let me take a look let me bring it out just a little bit more so to about to about to about here, I think should be good. Yeah, so that should be good. Now I want to get onto the side view and let's press F to fill this. Okay. Now I want to press I to insert this a little bit like that. I want to press I to insert it again, like that. All right. So here's what I want to do. Let me take, let me take all of these. Let me get into wireframe. I'm gonna take all of these over here. And let's go to local view by pressing the division sign on the numpad like that. And I'm gonna get over to this side. And here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, first off, let me let me let me go into edit mode of this, and let me see. You can see when you take a look over here, you can see the brake discs end about here, and then there's a dip in, and then it, as in uh, it folds in a little bit before moving forward and uh, attaching itself to the to the rim over here. So that is what we're gonna make right now. Let's get onto the side view, and then let me just press I to insert the face again to I don't know about here. I think about here should be good and I'm going to insert it again and then move it close to about where the rim ends that is around here and I want to pull it in the x-axis like this just like we have in a reference image like that as you can see let me just pull it in a little bit more like this and I'm going to insert it just a little bit more like that and I want to press E and then extrude this in the x-axis forward to about let me see the thickness I think that should be good let me move it forward just a little bit like that and I think that should be good maybe or not might be too much let me pull it in a little bit and let me move the whole thing out I mean forward to about to about here like that so as you can see that is looking good now all that I want to do now is to go over here let me see I'm gonna take I'm gonna take all of these and I'm gonna extrude it in the x axis to about let me see the thickness. I think that might be too much. Let me go into front view. Let me see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna pull it, just let it be slightly beyond the end point over here. That is the uh, where we dip this area in. Well we want it to be a little bit uh, in front of it. That way when we fill the faces there won't be any problems. So let me see. Also we should be taking into consideration the thickness of it. So let me just pull it back to about here, and I think that should be good. So I'm going to press F to fill this, and I'm going to press I to insert it a little bit like that. Insert it again, like that. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to take, I'm going to press Ctrl and Plus until we have all of these ones selected. And I'm going to press Shift and D and move it in the X axis to about here, like this. And I'm going to press E and the X, and I'm going to extrude it the same amount, that is to about there like that and that should be our break this pretty much I think yeah so it's looking exactly how we want it to so all I want to do now is to move over here I'm gonna take this one I'm just gonna scale it in a little bit I just want it to slant just a little bit like that and I think that is good um, yeah so that is looking good uh, let me see let me let me just scale it let me scale it up just a little bit more. Let me get onto the side view. Let me see what we have. Let me scale it up just a little bit more to about here. 
and that should be good all right there we go so what I'm gonna do now let me press control and I and hide everything else I'm gonna go in here and uh, I'm just gonna select let me insert the face over here I'm gonna insert it a little bit like that and insert it one more time like that and uh, let's go into edge select mode so I'm gonna go into edge select mode I'm gonna select this edge and I'm gonna select this one and then that one this one this one as well and then that one so all of those edges over there we're gonna select and I'm gonna press control and B to bevel this I'm gonna bevel this to about this point and I'm gonna add in two more in the middle so that is a total of um, three segments as you can see down here right down there so I'm just gonna add in that to about I think I think that should be good let me see yeah it is quite good but let me just let me make it a little bit more so I'm just gonna press control and B again and I'm gonna make it a little bit more like that let me try that again come on yeah, let me try that again control B I think that should be good All right, so I'm gonna click on object and select shade smooth and you can see what we have right there alright so all that I'm gonna do now is um, let me see let me press Ctrl and R3 here. I'm gonna add in two on this side and two on this side, just to you know define it a little bit better. And I'm gonna add in one here, pull it all the way to the front. Add in one here, pull it all the way close to the bottom, like that. As you can see, that is looking good. And let me see. Maybe I could add. Let me see. I could add one in the middle here, just to make it a little bit more sharp. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Make it a little bit more sharp. Let me dissolve this one. Now let me add one in here, pull it close to the bottom like that, another one, pull it close to the bottom like that, and as you can see that is what we have, and let me see, let me just add one over here as well, alright, good, 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 that is looking great, let me just take these two, I'm going to press S and then X, now let me scale it out to about here, and I'm going to do the same thing here, S and then X, scale it out to about there, and that should be good. Alright, so there's our break disc. It's nothing complicated, pretty easy, as you can see. And it is looking great. Alright, there we go. Okay, so let's press alternate to bring everything back. And you can see how it looks. Right there. Just something simple to make this look much better. I don't know if the size is good enough though. I kind of feel like I should scale it up a little bit. So let me just go into edit mode. I'm going to take everything. And I'm going to scale it up just a little bit like that. Yeah, just a little bit like that should be good. Alright, there we go. So I just scaled it up a little bit because I think it was too small. And as you can see, that is looking good. All right, nice. So we're gonna keep it just the way it is. I'm just gonna go in here though. Let me see. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should keep that side like that, or maybe we should try to. Let me see. Let me take all of these. Let me press Control and Plus, and I'm gonna delete all of these vertices here, like that. And let's go into vertex select mode. I wanna select this. I'm gonna press E or G and then X. I wanna move it out a little bit. And I'm going to scale it down some more to about this point. Or maybe not. Maybe not scale it down. Let me see. Um, let me keep it that way. Just scale it down a tiny bit like that. And yeah. So with that done, I'm going to press F again to fill the faces. And I'm going to press I to insert it like that. I'm going to press I again to insert it. And we'll keep it there. I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here and bring it close to this, like this. Let's take this, press Ctrl B, and let's bevel it like that. So I'm going to take this one and move it in a little bit to about there. And let me add one over here as well. And there we go. Alright, so I think that is looking much better. I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to select this, press Ctrl and Plus, all the way to here. And I'm going to scale this, and I'm going to press Shift and X. So it doesn't scale any x-axis. I'm just going to scale this down 
<clears throat> I'm just going to scale it down a little bit like that. As you can see. Let me get onto the side view. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, so there we go. That should be much better. Nice. So we'll keep it like that. So that is what I was looking to achieve pretty much for the brake discs. And yeah, we have. Now, I don't know if there's anything else we have to do, but in my opinion, I think that is it. Is there anything else? Nope. That's pretty much it. So that will do it for the brake disc. And uh, in the next video, we'll probably be working on the brakes, the actual brake system. And this one looks like a pretty simple one, so it shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Alright, so this is where I'll end the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll create the actual brake disc. I mean, the brake system.